Thou shalt not steal. That's our focus today on the eighth day of awe. And immediately our mind rushes to guys in black uh, pants and a black turtleneck with a black ski mask, tiptoeing and sneaking around with a loot bag. Uh, but stealing goes way beyond that. I mean, most of us are good, upstanding citizens, and we wouldn't even think to uh, steal something that didn't belong to us, whether it be our neighbor or shoplifting from the store or what have you. But theft is an issue that could take on uh, spiritual dimensions. There's such a thing as intellectual property, something that someone has created, whether it be a story or some sort of invention, and before they could get it copyrighted or before they could you know, get a patent on it, uh, somebody else takes the idea and steals it and runs with it. Uh, there's a lot of people uh, that claim that um, you know, Edison actually stole from Tesla and stole Tesla's thunder. And sadly, uh, Tesla was, um, I mean, he was a brilliant uh, scientific genius, and it just seems like uh, he's been eclipsed by Edison, uh, which really didn't do or come up with half the things that Tesla uh, did. And sadly, as a result, Tesla died broke and penniless. Theft could also take place uh, at work, uh, not just like stealing office supplies like staples and pens and paper clips and things like that, toilet paper, what have you, but stealing credit. When somebody else really did the hard work and the grunt work and you, you take credit for what they did, let's say that you're on some sort of team and you're the leader of that team and all the praise gets lumped on you where you just really directed and it was the people under you that really did the hard digging and the footwork and, and all the ground and pound and you take the credit for it and don't share or spread the credit, that's theft. Sometimes theft can take an emotional dimension where you steal someone's joy. Somebody's having a good day, somebody's smiling, and maybe they're just a little bit annoying because they're a little bit too perky, and you say something that just kind of punches them in the gut and embarrasses them or makes them feel bad for feeling good, and all of a sudden that just, that just joy and that happiness just drains from their face. You've stole their joy. And again, another spiritual dimension of theft can be related to God. You know, God has given us everything, and a rule of thumb is to give him back, at the very least, 10%. Uh, it's based on the Levitical Temple Tabernacle Tithe, and that's what it's based on. And so when we have time, resources, our finances, and we don't give God what's his, we don't give back to him what he's given to us, we've stolen from God. When we would rather... Uh, you know, watch the latest Netflix episode of whatever the hottest show is at the time, instead of uh, stealing a little time away and cracking open our Bibles and reading a few chapters out of the Word or, or doing our uh, quiet time personal devotions and, and our quiet time in prayer with God. And when we neglect that, we're stealing time. We're robbing God of time that we should dedicate to Him. When we would rather stay home and watch the Grey Cup or the Super Bowl and neglect the assembling of ourselves together, meeting with other believers in prayer and in fellowship of the Word, again, we're stealing time. We're also robbing our fellow brother and sister of, of us because we are assets to each other. We help love and build up and edify and complement uh, each other. No man is an island. It's not good that man be alone. So we're stealing uh, fellowship from other believers when we seclude ourselves and take away ourselves from a, a congregation or a holy convo convocation or a meeting with other believers. We're robbing somebody else of the gifts and talents that God has given us in order to bless and edify other people. So again, theft uh, stealing, it's much more than just the physical act of taking something that's not yours. It takes on mental and emotional and spiritual aspects that we really must think about and meditate on this eighth day of awe. 
And if we've stolen uh, glory from someone else, or we've robbed somebody of an emotional high, or we have hurt anyone in any way, shape, or form by theft, we need to go to that person and and repent and ask for for their uh, for forgiveness and to reconcile things. Another aspect of theft that I just uh, thought of is when you have love to give to others, whether it's your spouse, your children, or your parents, and you withhold love because out of jealousy or out of anger or out of whatever, you're you're stealing love from them. You're robbing them of love. So theft is 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 a very very deep multifaceted surface uh, uh, um, subject when it comes to the word of God and this commandment and this prohibition against theft. Guys, thanks for listening. Go out there and have a great day. God bless.